There's a bay window and the sill. And down below, I'm going to turn that into stonework so it sort of matches the area of my wood burning stove. Now this is the st this is the stonework by my wood burning stove, and this was here when I got here, and I like it. So I actually did something similar, real rough looking, to my bathroom floor. Now I'm continuing this in this room in a shelving unit and also in this bay window that's, that's right here. So this bay window area, what I'm gonna do, this is the only floor that's sort of left that I need to pull up. That's, that's five layers there, but it's a very small area. So this, this bay window area, I tin ceilinged up here. It's kind of hard to tell, but I tin ceilinged it. You know, I got tin ceiling and I got it all painted, primed out in one coat of paint. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do stonework on the sill and this lower part so that it matches the wood burning stove area. This is the big plans. This, this, I've, you know, this won't be that big of a deal. It'll look good. I had the option of going to Home Depot and buying fake stone, but I actually matched the stone you know, this is very, very similar stone to the stone that is used in this area. Because I'm sure that they did what I did was they just used stone, you know, that's, you know, that, that was either in the backyard. There's this stone is in the backyard. I went someplace where I knew it was easier to get flat stone and it's pretty much matched. So that, that, that's what I'm gonna do. And also there's a recessed like shelving unit, I guess, somebody put in. And it's real shitty, it's done with like plywood. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use stonework in that too, sort of make it sort of cave-like. And then I have a piece of art that will fit right in there, it'll look real nice. Now I did stonework in the bathroom too. The bathroom floor is like that. I found a bunch of slate and broke it up. And that's what I used for the bathroom floor. It looks real rough. It does, but I like the look of it. So I'm gonna continue with that, but I, I really, I don't wanna use Thin Set again. Thin Set, you know, I don't know. It's really, it's not hard to work with. You can, you can put it on anything. It'll stick to anything. You just add water and mix it up. It's like a, a concrete type thing. This thing comes in a tub. It's already pre-mixed. You know, it has some kind of polymers in it that it sets up. It looks, it has some kind of stone or concrete. You know, it's got grit in it. It's like a, you know. See, there's all this like slate. This is slate. This is like, you know, come on, man. I'm not gonna pay for fake stone when I can get this, you know? I'll do my own stone work. I don't, I don't need it fake. This shit will work out perfect. It's fucking free, you know? This, it's fucking free. It's, it's, it's everywhere around here. Varying, various sizes of rocks too. It's gonna look great. This is where I normally go goose hunting, duck hunting. Ike's retired, he has some weird skin issue. He didn't have it until he was about 10. Seems to be better now that he's on pork, but he's he's not going hunting. There's, there's no way I'm putting him in there. That's bacteria filled. spring see it's all flat you know looks good let's grab a few of them 
I don't need all of them, that's for sure. Check out all the deer carcasses people dump here. Like those, those, those hooves could be used. They could. I'm gonna take that skull. I'll, I'll come back. I would take these hooves too if I had some salt that I could put them in. Hooves don't have much meat on them. They just, they just totally dry out and shit. Clearly, that's, that's a waste, you know? That's a wa well, it's not really a waste. The coyotes ate it. I'm gonna take the skull. Those, those hooves bum me out though. The hooves could be used. You'll see like um, turkey carcasses over here. You know, there's, a, there's another deer carcass. The coyotes drag them off. I, um, yeah, there's, there's another deer carcass. I would never at night let, I, I, you know, I'll, I'll put Ike out in the backyard or Tonka, one of the, Billy the Hedgehog, and just let him go to the bathroom for a few minutes but I would never let a dog just hang out in my backyard at night for fear of coyotes coming like mango mango would get munched Ike's a little bit too big for a coyote to mess with Billy the Hedgehog too fast too much for the coyote to mess with probably the same size as a coyote so, you know keep moving coyote and usually, if I have, if I do that at night with, with one of my dogs, it's usually, it's a deuce. So, you know, it's not just one dog, you know. Coyotes generally are sort of loners. But they can't, they can't, you know, gang up, that's for sure. Like these ribs, like this, this rib, this rib cage. If, if I had some way of like dealing with this. I'd make something out of it. I just don't, I guess I could use like rock salt would be cheap. Maybe I'll go see how much rock salt is it. Um, what you call it at Home Depot. I'm, I'm taking this though, I'm taking the skull. Here's the jawbone, both of them, I believe. What else we got, vertebrae. Yeah, I, I hate to see this shit go to waste. I know there's people thinking, you're crazy, you're touching that. It's fucking nature, you know? We all end up like this. I just hate to see shit like this go to waste. Is there a possibility that I would use this in making something? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, those hooves bum me out. It's just a waste, you know? Like those, the ribs, like, come on, man. I'd do something to those. I'd put those on the barbecue pit. I wouldn't fucking just leave them for the, you know, what, what did you do? You shoot the deer for the back strap and then you throw the rest away. That's fucked up. You know, this is the exact same st stone that they used for around my wood burning stove. It matches, you know, I just need a few. You know, I don't need many. This is awesome. It's gonna look great. See, this is originally what I was thinking of was this. You know, that down below, see? There's all this slate and stuff. This is, this is sedimentary rock. This is, you're looking at, you know, millions upon millions of years. See, the, there's all this, I don't even have to. 
get it from here, but I could. Yeah, there's some real thin pieces. I'm gonna grab them. It's fine, you know. I mean, why? Why not? What? Why? I look. I looked at. I looked at Home Depot. I looked at the fake stone that they have. I could use that. But why? You know, why would I do that? That's not representative of millions of years. That's probably billions of years. <laughs> Seriously, that's really. That's fucking amazing. It's fucking cool. Our planet. It's rough on this planet, but the planet is amazing. I'm going to Walmart. I need to get contractor bags. I need contractor bags because I'm doing more rip out on my house. There's more drywall to come out. I'm not going to get a dumpster because I think that it's probably about, oh, I don't know less than 300 pounds of stuff. This is in my kitchen. And over this was paneling that was painted. It looked real bad. You know, it's a 130 year old house. Multiple people had done things in here. There were five layers of floor in the living room. I ripped them up. Now I got wood. I got wood to work with, you know, I'll refinish the wood. Behind the drywall, or behind the paneling, was this drywall that's sort of unfinished. I don't know what year they did it, but look, look at how they did it. It's not drywall screws. It looks like they used some kind of pneumatic nail gun or something. I would assume it'd be hard to hit with a hammer. I don't know how they did it a long time ago, but it's unfinished. And then behind this is tongue and groove wood. And that's what the wall was, tongue and groove wood, like you would use on a floor. You're damn right I'm keeping it. I'm getting this off, and then I'm gonna get the tongue and groove wood. They're actually, over the tongue and groove, it looks like it's some kind of weird cloth wallpaper or something. I don't, I don't know, it looks like something like that. So you're damn right I'm keeping the tongue and groove. I'm gonna get that off, I might, sand it and then uh tongue oil it or possibly use polyurethane but this is the kind of stuff that if you find it in an old house you know it's a keeper it's gonna make the the house worth more covering something like that up was a mistake but you know who knows when they did it who knows when they put the wallpaper on that that could have been 1920 so I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna get that tongue and groove so that I can see it. And then up above the ceiling, we're gonna tin ceiling this thing. So I'm gonna try Walmart for contractor bags. I think I bought them there before. If they don't have good ones, I'm going to Watkins Supply. You know, if I'm putting a lot of weight in a bag, I want, I want something that's decent. I don't want like, you know, I don't, I think Glad makes contractor bags, but I don't think that they're heavy duty. I need something heavy duty to get the, you know, the drywall from my house into the van. So that, that's the plan for that. Everything's going real good on the house. It's starting to look really nice. I mean, honestly, well, it's not looking really nice, but I can tell it's going to look really nice. It's really coming together. I shaved this morning and my face is fucking killing me. It is, it's really irritated. You women are lucky that you don't have to shave. Seriously, it, it sucks, man, it sucks. I, if, I, if I could grow a motherfucking beard and it not get itchy, I'd be fine with it. But it just sort of gets itchy and, you know, I'm good for about two, three weeks and then I gotta shave it off and then you know, a lot of times it gets irritated like this. It sucks. You know, I was, I'm saying, you know, you, 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 you women are lucky that you don't have to shave, but like I've known women that like, you have facial hair. I mean, you, let's face it, we're all mammals and some women have more hair than others. And God, I shouldn't even be saying this because I'll tell you something. I've dated women that like, they have like blonde hair on their arms and it bothers them, you know? You know, it, it's one thing if it's like you're, you look like Frida Kahlo and you got a, a black mustache or something, but like if you have like arm hair, 
uh, don't worry about it. Everybody has arm hair. Everybody's got hair on their face. That's a fact. It would be a bummer if you were a skirt and you had black facial hair. I was just thinking about something, the guy that works on my car, what he said yesterday when I thought that I, it was possible I could have had a blown head gasket, but it was just water frozen in my manifold or my muffler, right? And then hot gas goes over that and then it causes that white smoke. White smoke would be an indication, it could be an indication that you have a uh, blown head gasket and you have radiator fluid going into your engine. Okay, so I was, I was flipped out and he said, Peter, that would be highly unlikely. You have a Honda, you know, at 155,000, having a blown head gasket would be really unlikely. It's a Honda. Not that there aren't other issues that Honda, Hondas have, they, they do, but that, that wouldn't be one of them. They make a good engine, so. I've done everything else to that thing, you know. I'm gonna keep using it until I can. And then I need to find something else. And I'll tell you one thing, I'll probably end up getting a Honda or a Toyota, like a Toyota Sienna, something like that. Although I would consider like a, a cargo van, Ford, you know, something like that. I would, it would be more space, you know. I tell you, every time I come in the pharmacy section of Walmart and I see the Depends and all this shit, I just thank my lucky stars that I don't wear diapers. You know, shitting in your pants? Come on, man. I don't want to live like that. And these commercials that they have, where they're like trying to say that, hey, you're wearing a diaper, but it's a sexy diaper. You gotta be fucking kidding me. How stupid do you think that we are? Is that really gonna sell that product? You know, you, you, you got the 28 year old on there wearing them. And you got the little hottie wearing them. You know? Come on. It's, a, it's just ridiculous. It, it is. I don't, I don't, listen, I don't want to wear diapers. Nobody does. And I guess anybody can get used to anything. But that's one thing I don't want to get used to. You know? I don't have anybody to wipe my ass. You know, Trump, if Trump starts wearing a diaper, he can afford to have, you know, Hope Hicks do it or something. Do you know what I'm saying? He, he, can, he can pay some hot woman. See, that's the last thing I would want. It's like a hot broad changing my diaper. I'm old and feeble and some hot broad comes in. No. No, please, any, anything but that. I'm going in the Easter egg section and I'm gonna see if they have anything that's like a small egg. And the reason for this is that when the pigeons lay eggs, I wanna take them away, but I don't want them to, um, you know, they'll just lay another one right away. So it's okay for them to sit on it a little bit so you can switch it up, take the egg away and put a fake egg in there. And the fake eggs that I've been using Solar and Optimus can't tell, right? They've been sitting on two like sort of like rubber balls cut in half and they don't know the difference, but they're, they're young. They're, they're less than a year old. Chip and Casper, I switch them up and like the next day they're off the egg and they're ready to breed again. So I'm gonna see if I use something more egg-like if I can fool them, which I might not be able to do. These look a little big, right? And I'm gonna buy the whole bag. I know that um, Tractor Supply sells exactly what I'm talking about for chickens. They're wood. Maybe I could use one of those. You know what I might do is just take one of their take one of their eggs, blow it out, you know, and then seal it. I'll take two of the two eggs, seal it, and then. Um, just use that. Okay, these are 88 cents. They're a little big. They're, they're pretty big, actually. But I, I might try this. It's worth. It's worth a try. You know, I could even slide in like a small candy egg. Would work, I bet. 
Um, bubble gum eggs, those are too small. Yeah. I knew that they'd have these, but this isn't what I want. I was thinking that I needed another phone for my YouTube channels, right? You can do two, you, you gotta verify them, right? So that they know that it's not a, a bot. But you can do two channels a year with one number. But this is this $49, right? This kind of smartphone you can have, you can just get this and then just buy your minutes that way. You know, if I wanted to really load up with YouTube channels, I would do something like that. There's so many different options to verify your YouTube channel seriously. This is just one of them. You can evidently use a SIM card, which I think is for your phone, but it's like a different number, something like that. But I mean, the, there's options. I'm seeing a $29 phone over here, smartphone. I've never heard of the brand, you know, but it, it look, it's a ZTE Majesty Pro Light. Looks sort of like a, it's 30, 30, $30, you know, and then you have to buy your minutes, but that, that's cheap. You know, that's, that's very cheap. Hell, the Samsung is only, only 50. That's 50 bucks. It's very cheap. These iPhones are expensive though. I mean, you look, you look at the Galaxy, that's, that's four, 400 if you get it like this. I'm walking by and I'm seeing spam, you know? Spam. I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna eat it. I don't know what the deal is with skinless hot dogs, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna get them. Usually I get Nathan's, you know, those are good. I don't need to cook a hot dog. I'll eat them, I'll eat them uncooked. They're for me. This is for me. I'm told I need to eat more fish. Salmon. That's what I was told. At least once or twice a week. I eat, I already eat it. They, they might change my cholesterol medication to something different that can help that. You know, they change their packaging on these. It looks different, but it's the same product. I gave up Red Bull, but I'll still drink tea. These are two dollars. The small ones are one fifty. You know, it's like they're giving this shit away. The more you buy, the cheaper it is. Wish they had a better root beer selection here. I'd go to Tops, but I gotta, I gotta go work with Bowles and stuff. Bowles was doing awesome. I'm gonna miss that little freak. But I got his, I guess it's his aunt, Aunt Bella coming in. You know, I'll whoop her into shape for sure. She's being, the deal with Bella is that she's treating her mother like a possession. And when people get close to her mom, she's, Bella's getting aggressive. We can change that for sure. Should be pretty easy. I think it, Bella is a, what is she? She's one of those cute little mixes. I can't remember. She's, she's a cute little, like a Shih Tzu poodle maybe? Something like that. It's you know, like a little head, like a softball. I'm gonna get her to retrieve. I have to actually see the dog. I've, I'm saying that she'll pick up keys. I don't know. I gotta see her face. She might not be physically, if she's got like a pug type face, it's hard for him to retrieve, but we could get her to retrieve something, that's for sure. Rice pudding, I'll eat this, like the whole thing for dinner, and then that's it. It's delicious. Not one hot Mennonite girl in this place. They're hot, they are. 
They dress funny. You know they're wildcats. They are. You know, you know they've been on the internet. They've probably seen a lot of videos, and they, they know all about the wonders of Knobber. I think. They, they like it a lot. I'll tell you, when I first bought my house in Beaver Dams, the only reason why I bought it was I needed storage for art, and there was duck hunting in the area. That's why I bought it. When I first moved up here, I never saw anybody of any color, you know? It's like the land of white people. But then now, it's only, you know, it's only been a little over 10 years. I see all kinds of people of color, it's great, you know? Everyone. Doctors moved here. You know, there's like a Pakistani doctor in Watkins Glen, an obstetrician. You know, you go in there, there's, you know, other than the Chinese restaurant, there were like no Asian people in there. And now I see Asian people. It's more diversified. I like that. That's the thing that I like about Brooklyn. It's not all just one thing, you know. The Amish girls and Mennonite girls. They've always been here, though. They're exotic. I'm telling you. I, that's what I think. I could be totally wrong. You know, they could be real boring in the rack. Could just be all about, like, procreation. Not the good stuff. Like, knobber. Like, you, you go down on the Mennonite girl, and she's like, oh, my God, what are you doing? Then she learns to really like it. You know, she's always expecting you to munch on it. So you know what I'm saying? I could, I could be wrong. You know, I could be totally wrong about this. They could be really boring. I bet the ones that aren't boring get out of that community. That one stay. There's no way. There's no fucking way. Who would want to live like that, you know? I'm being, being presumptuous that I live this way, that th the way that I live must be better than the Mennonites, and I could be wrong, you know? Maybe they have it easy. Seems like they would have it harder. No electricity in the house, shit like that. Walking out in the cold to use, to use the outhouse and shit, take a dump. Hi, Remy. Remy. She can have the gate open. She's not going anywhere. Where's she gonna go? It's Remy. You know? People don't get that about birds, you know? You know, I'll, I'll be going through a drive through Remy be on my shoulder, the window will be down, and they're like, doesn't that bird fly away? And I'm like, no, it's, it's Remy. You know? It's fucking Remy. Tell you one thing, April 1st was trout opening of trout season. I can fish literally like a block from my house. Post Creek runs right by my house. I'm, I'm tempted to go fishing. I just have shit to do, you know? I would I wish I had more time. You know? I, I got you know, Bowser's going back, I wanna get him ready. Um, I should take more time for myself and I don't. I'm really thinking about going trout fishing. There's all kinds of you know, fucking doing construction. You know, couldn't get a straight answer from the guy. But I I did a lot of fishing with my dad. That's what we did, fishing and hunting. You know, I I loved it. You know, uh, my dad spent a lot of time with me. Um, my older brother not into any of that stuff, you know. He went hunting a couple times, but you know, he really wasn't into it. Me and my me and my older brother sort of very different in a lot of ways. Probably similar in a lot of ways too. So 